Hey guys, it's your girl Phoenix Fire. How y'all doing? Hope you're cool. I thought I'm. Uh, let me do a recap of the summer um, impact reloaded card. Well, I'm just gonna do a. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a breakdown slash recap of um, a Sun Moon versus Snake Eyes battle. Alright. So yeah, so this battle was. Um, it was interesting. It was like mad. It was mad tension in the battle. Definitely like Ace Armin and Snake Eyes. It was kind of like a grudge match because they've been going back and forth at, at it for a while now. So I was definitely looking forward to this battle. I think we all were really. We had to see. I wanted to see like who's gonna win. Like what's it gonna be? Alright. So like A started off um, immediately cooking. <laughs> I don't know. So basically, so what I usually do is uh, I just give one point for everything, for anything that I thought sounded good. Boat bar, I'll give it a point, okay? If I thought it sounded good. If, it, if I didn't like it, then I'm not giving you a point. So that's just how it works. One point for everything that sounds nice, alright? So let's do it. So yeah, Ace on Mean, but he was mad aggressive from the beginning. Like, he's already barging and, like, um, walking into the snake eyes and all that. The aggression was there immediately, you know what I'm saying? So the first nice thing he said, so basically I wrote everything down. Hopefully I can read my own damn writing, guys. Uh, round one, Ace. So he said, hold on. He told that choir boy Saga, don't talk while you while you rapping. Blam. So when I said blam, that means he hit him with the shoulder. Man, I swear, Snake Eyes' <coughs> soul nearly left his body when um, Ace I mean hit him with that shoulder. Damn. I, it made me jump. I didn't expect it to be that hard. Like, damn. And he's like, nigga, say it to me. I was like, damn. <laughs> no, seriously, they must have talked about this beforehand, yeah, because that was way too aggressive. I don't give a fuck, man. It would have been on sight. No way am I having that shit. I don't give a fuck about the battle. Fuck the battle. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sure they talked about it. It's all good. So, yeah, so that was, uh, that got the crowd, you know, hyped already. Set the tone. Um, next thing he said that was obviously he said a lot of other things guys go watch the battle but I'm just pinpointing what I thought was nice that he said right and he said uh, after after this I'm a beat on chess great apes so I gave him a point for that uh, and he said I'll break your face with a straight face you look like you got charged with date rape All right yeah so he got a point for that and I got another point for these niggas running way late, trying to escape fate. I wait late, then I'm running down, coming down Snake Way. If you ain't ready to, to Goku, I'm still sending that nigga to Snake Way. So that was fire. You know what I'm saying? If you're into Goku or that, you already get it. That was fire. Uh, next thing I gave him a point for was Mossberg Mars, pump action. And he does that. that ch -ch <laughs> click, click. <laughs> Whatever gun sound that is. You know, you know the, the sound, guys. <laughs> Dumb patcher, six to nine is proof that everything that's under the shoddy breaks. And I'm saying the whole Takeshi six nine shoddy trayway shit. He's got a point for that. And he said, he out here collecting all this attention deficit, you know, attention. Hold on. Well, this attention deficit. Well, this order sorted out like clothes on laundry day. Like, well, disorder, attention deficit, disorder. I got it. I gave him a point for that. I thought that was nice. <sighs> because attention deficit is a disorder. All right, cool. And I gave him a point for, um... Durant 2019, all season. Bitch, I ain't playing. I gave him a point for that. <clears throat> then, um... I gave him a point for... <clears throat> Um, he said, on guard, my nigga. I really will off you. I don't care if you got a gun, too. I'll take that still off you and still off you. I like that. Still off you and still off you. That was fire. So we got a point for that. Then we got another point for all the people that snake bites. The nigga would probably give his mom an auntie venom. So that was nice. Auntie venom, auntie venom. I'm saying that works. So... Um, you got a point for that. Next one, he said, 
them bitches screaming hot girl summer, you should probably be in a league with them. I get my point for that. And his last point in this round is when he said, his name's Snake, but you're a rat. Everybody knows that you, you are what you eat. Something like that. So yeah, so 11 points in that first round for Ace Armin. So we go to the first round for Snake Eyes. So, Snake Eyes, how did he start off? He started off cooking, he was confident, do you know what I mean? He was ready to go. Alright, cool. So he's like, You talk tough, I call bluffs. Said I ain't got no whip. I put click clack, I'm like, click click. <laughs> I gotta work on that gun. <laughs> that sound, guys. Chich. Whatever. Well, I ain't got no. I ain't got no problems doing walk-ups. Now, let me say again. You talk tough, I call bluffs. Said I ain't got no whip. Well, I ain't got no problems doing walk-ups. <laughs> Y'all get it. <laughs> I'm going to work on the sound, guys. <laughs> and then he gets a point for that. Next thing is, um, this nigga's supposed to be a goonie. Um, Oh yeah, this nigga's supposed to be a goonie, monkey D, D Luffy. Hopefully he leave here in one piece. Alright. So if you're on to anime, you catch that. Um, the next thing he said is, well, well, I'll slay me a killer, drag his body. It'll look like Westbrook when he babying niggas. Alright, so that's that Russell Westbrook reference. And there's a, Rock a bad baby, whatever move. Next point was make sure you get okay. The next point I gave him was Antonio Brown. You step in in my field, make sure you got that helmet right. That was fire. The whole Antonio Brown situation with the helmet. Next point is who you got? Um, put a put an L on the hold on. Put a, put an L on Ace. I don't know what I'm here. Put an L on Ace, the hood you, you that he, to show you that he laced himself, something like that. Put an L on Ace, L Ace lace, to show you that he laced himself. I can't read my writing, but I think it's something like that, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. I guess a point for that. Next thing he said was, uh, you getting drugged. I'm with everything. I'm talking rounds, which you better bring. These rounds gonna hit like meth after I fed him in. I like that. Because I thought like it was a play on the word met methamphetamine, right? It was. So, I, I probably didn't spit a bar, right? But anyway, so I'm trying to say, you're getting drugged. I'm with everything. I'm talking rounds, which you better bring. These rounds going to hit like meth after I fed a mean. Yeah, methamphetamine. Definitely. That was fire. Point for that. He been he been jailed around niggas mic so long, he had to <laughs> get home and touch one. Talking about the fact that Ace Armin took seven weeks to have sex after he came out of jail. Um, he been was in jail for like ten years plus. So I'm saying so. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about. Um, then I gave him another point for, and he said, "Hold on, how come? How you come out of jail, Muslim, but then be around all these pork heads?" So, so Tony, what? So yeah, I gave him a point for that. So he went on about Ace Armin being a fake Muslim. When was the last time he prayed? All of that stuff. Then he's like, then I gave him a point. And he said, if you're a real Muslim, you should be used to, to, something, to praying to the East or something. Can't be my writing. Whatever he said there, you know the bars, guys. Uh, gave him a point for. He said, four fifth American model Anna Nicole Smith. Thought that was fire. Um, then I said, then he said, aim at his dome, leave him face down. They like, what's that, snake? My ace in the hole. So yes, that's that poker reference there. And then he said, um... I've been cripping since I was a baby. I had the left hand up in the sonogram. Something like that. My mom writing's getting worse and worse as we go along. But yes, yeah, so that's 12 points there for Snake, round one. 
Okay, round two. So Ace immediately starts cooking. Um, we started off strong. First thing I gave him a point for. Uh, he said, dots always go on top of the lowercase eyes. Yeah, dots always go on top of the lowercase eyes. Eyes, eyes, you know. And the next point was, um, I'm the one that just got here, but my phone won't stop ringing. But he's the one that ain't made it out of, out of the Matrix. So that was fire. Because if you watch the Matrix, the phone ringing. Do you know what I mean? The association there. And the Matrix is a fire film, man. Classic. Then he said, next point is, you don't, you don't, hold on. You don't got a clue what you're doing in that field, nigga. You're a replacement ref. So that was nice. Because obviously, when you're a replacement ref, you don't really know what you're doing in there. You're new. Then the next point, said, you copped, did 11 months, then walked, baby steps. So you got a point for that. And the next point is, I've, I've been going dumb with VAP since Thundercats and Nintendo 64 Rumble Packs. That was fire. If you know about Nintendo 64 and Thundercats, fire. Um, and the next point was... At your baby mother's shack, the nigga ace, ride up, call with no AC, the brake screech, ready to tear your whole base side up. So that was fire. <laughs> Guys, I know I'm spitting these badly. I'm so sorry, but you know what I'm saying? But y'all know the bar, right? <laughs> Um, hold on. I feel like I'm spinning it too slow. I need to do it a bit faster. Let me try and spit that faster. It's probably it's probably gonna sound even worse. Hold on. It's your baby mother's shack. Man, I'm nah. It's not gonna work. Forget it, guys. Hold on. At your baby mother's shack, the nigga ace right up. Car with no AC. The bass screech. Raise the tear bass. Hold on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's not working, guys. Forget it. So the next one. <laughs> the next point I gave was for he said um think he got ace lined up impossible three five seven cold python the only snake I trust that was fire point for that and he said stand on it or get stabbed over it big knife big slice I cut a ribbon and leave a grand opening fire do you know what as soon as ace army starts getting super violent I feel like it starts working for him do you know what I mean? Like, for real. He's really good with the mad aggression. I can't wait to see him battle chess. I want to see how that's going to go. That is going to be crazy, man. Hopefully they don't get into a fight. Because if he did what he did, did, did to Snake Eyes, that shoulder bump to chess, I mean, I know that, obviously, they're going to fight. I don't feel like chess would, would have been, like, able to hold it down. Do you know what I mean? So salute to Snake Eyes for holding it down because it takes a lot of patience to be able to do that. Do you know what I'm saying? But hopefully no more fighting on the URL, guys. It's just messing up the battles. But anyway, uh, so the next thing I gave him a point for was, hold on, let me check that. I like that, that bar just like, that was fire up there. What, and he acted it out as well, do you know what I mean? He was starting to cook, man, definitely. Um, then he, he, he gets a point where he said, knives on both sides of eyes. He could only see it from his peripheral. So that was fire, that was creative. You know what I'm saying, see? This is the ace I mean I like, he's, he's starting to cook now. Um, then he says, chrome lifter, dome splitter, right plan, wrong nigger. That was fire. I like it when he does things like that, you know, because sometimes he comes out with things like that. Like, there was a time when he was like, um, he said something, I can't remember who he battled, he was like, you got, you want, um, you got a problem, I want one. I thought that was hilarious, and that was creative, and I, I just liked it. I thought that was fire. But anyway, so the next point, uh, he said, when you wake up, I'll be right next to eyes. I'm a cold nigga. So, you know, so y'all get it. Like, when you wake up, you got cold in your eyes and shit. So, yeah. Point for that. Then he says, the kickback drugs, it gonna land him on the moon. It was alright. I gave him a point. It was alright. You know, drugs, moon, because they, you know, they had that fight and stuff. It could work. And I gave him a point for left snake tied up like an, like animal balloons. That was I too. I gave him a Your point for that. Your phone has no SIM card installed, so what I can't help fuck? you with that at the moment. My phone is wilding now. I told y'all I fucked my phone up at Carnival. 
it's talking with no SIM card in it. This is crazy. That is quite scary, actually. How can my phone just talk to me? And I, I thought it was supposed to be off. Did y'all just hear that? I said, that is freaky, man. AI shit. Oh my God, why did my phone just talk to me, guys? I thought this phone is dead. How can it... Oh, you know what? Sorry, I'm interrupting this thing. Let me just carry on, guys. That's ridiculous. That is actually quite freaky, guys. My phone, which I fucked up at Carnival, just started suddenly talking to me. It doesn't even have a SIM card in it. Oh, man. All this AI, man. It's crazy. So where am I, anyway? Hold on. All right. Yeah, so in that round, Ace got 13 points for round two. All right? Sorry guys, that was freaky. That freaked me out. So, um, so the next, so yeah, Snake Eyes round two. To be honest with you, Snake, this round wasn't that great for Snake Eyes. <clears throat> I feel like it's not like he had a lot of filler, but I only found a few things that I liked. So it wasn't a lot of things that I felt I liked. So uh, I'll just read the ones that I liked in this round. It was like. Oh, by the way, eight, um, Snake Eyes' first round was mad long. It was like almost 15 minutes long. I'm just saying. It was really long. So, um, yeah, so he said, I'll put a pound to the glass. What you know about them no contact visits? So, so I think he said, I like one point for that. While you was doing all that, hold on, while you was doing all that, no. While you was doing all that vet provoking, no, with no, with that flex promotion, I don't know, oh, my writing, whatever. I could have kidnapped this man in Houston, have one of my lokes from the Texas Hold'em. So that was fine. I was giving him a point. Texas Hold'em poker reference. One point for that. And he said, Ace would get rocked in the head as soon as he go fishing for something. So that was nice as well. Go fish. Got a point for that. Unfortunately, that was all I was able to give him points for, guys. I'm not saying he didn't say anything else, but that was those were what I liked in this round. So for round two, I gave Snake Eyes three points. So you know, it was a big difference in round two. Ace, I mean, really did good in that round two. I mean, he probably said more than three nice things, but these were the three nice things that I liked. So that's how I judge it. Because if I'm listening to you and I'm not feeling it, I'm not gonna write, I'm not gonna put a point to it. But I, I wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? There might have been one, th one or two I missed though, but three were the ones that I liked anyway so round three ace starts off um the first thing he said that I liked was um when God oh when God closes a door he opens a window but sometimes it's so a bullet can fly through it he's got a point for that and he was like this nigga's grap this nigga's graphic proof that sometimes in life shit happens and other times you the one sh one it happens to you know what I'm saying? So, I got a point for that. So, he was covering one eye. So, I'm assuming he was talking about Snake Eyes' one eye. I'm guessing. Um, like, when he when he spit, spat that bar, he was covering one of his eyes. Then, hold on. Let me stretch my legs out. Hold on. And he says, I don't even want... Oh, I don't even want URL listing conviction as one of my attributes. I gave him a point for that because I thought that was fire. Conviction, conviction. Do you know what I mean? I like to play on words anyway. So, yeah. That was... Uh, he got a point for that. Then, I got a point for... When has anybody ever seen a solid snake? Uh, besides Metal Gear, then he, he cut it off with that. He gets a point for that, because it's true. Then, like, so I wrote some scribbles here. I wrote Atom... And I wrote I iron eyes, and I wrote iron eyes. <laughs> so whatever bar that was, it was it was a clever bar. I just didn't write it out properly, but something about iron eyes, and it had atom in it. So it was like a science type of bar. It was interesting. He was like, you don't write like that. When he said that, you don't write like that. Go back and listen to it, guys. But that was very, very creative. He gets a point for that. Um, then he gets another point for... I've been living by the cold, defending niggas that I ain't even willing to get lucked with. Get the point for that. Then he said, the type of nigga to get on camp and flaunt like he crip, rep till he in a bad spot, and look what he do, typical lizard shit, changed his colours. Now this was creative as fuck, this was like a reptilian kind of reptile scheme, 
and I appreciated it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so the type of nigga to get on cam camouflage. I guess that's camouflage. Camouflage. Like he crip reptil he so that's reptilian reptilian a bad spot that's reptilian and look what he do typical lizard changes colors like a chameleon would so yeah that works i like it one point for that um then the next one he said stop it fool you don't see me up in this bitch dropping jewels so that's when he, he he brought out the uh batman the cave gang chain and stuff if y'all watched it, you already know what happened. Um, so I think he, I think he dropped it. Yeah, he dropped the chain on the floor. And that's when he said that. Anyway, then the last thing he said I liked was the real and the fake. They never touch. Bow legged. He gets a point for that. It's nine points in that round for Ace Army round three. Then, um, Snake Eyes round three. Do you know what? Breaking down these bars is not easy. It takes a lot of time, you know. Do you know what I mean? You've got to watch the battle. You've got to really, like... It takes... It's actually time-consuming. Trust me. What's the time? It's like one thirty in the morning. But let's keep going, guys. It says... Um... Hold on. So the first thing he said I thought was nice... Oh, yeah. Snake Eyes did really good in this third round, actually. He was really cooking. I think he saved all his energy from that second round for his third. Because his second round wasn't really that good. It was lackluster. It wasn't... It just wasn't really that great, you know? Um, so, he's like, so, yeah, basically, Vex came and, came, got involved when he was rapping, so he's like, chill, Vex, you just got in a car accident, you ain't even he heal quick, chill, chill, that nigga, that, chill, that, hold on, what the fuck, hold on, hold on, chill, that nigga, there's a real bitch, so, yeah, Vex said, chill, that nigga, there's a real bitch, but you don't gotta step in it. When the gap bl blam and the hat slam, you gonna think Rex did it. So that's what Rex said. If y'all watched it, you know who said what. And I took too long to spit that. Let's try that again, shall we? Chill, Rex. You, you just got in a car accident. You ain't even healed quick. Chill, that nigga there's a real bitch. But you ain't gotta step in it when that gap blam and that hat slam, you gonna think Rex did it. Whatever. That's the best I can do, guys. Let's work with it, alright? <laughs> then next he says he said that versus cave fuck it let's get it rocking then fuck rock he don't rock with us we don't rock with them so I like the way he said that rock 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 you know one point for that and he said let's not pretend it'll be bad news if I said shots at them Glock extend see chef Trez and chef from the rock like friends hit Av and spin an Av while I'm rocking Tim. So that was fire. And he did the moves with it. I mean, he performed that. So that was crazy. The, um, everyone went crazy. Crowd went crazy at that. It was well deserved. That was good. That was very good. Um, yeah, so then the next point he got. I got one eye. Tw 2020 ain't the year to play with me. So that was, that was, Dope and funny as well, because obviously 2020 vision and the year 2020, you know. Then he said, should, should like to, um, should like to dunk on niggas. Let me grab his passion. Lazy I look like McGrady and Bobby Jackson. Yeah. They had that fight. One point for that. And after the rep, take this L. Now, who gonna be his replacement? Do you know what? I wrote this down, but I'm not sure if I gave him a point. I just, hold on. I'm not sure if I added it. But anyway. After the rep, take this L. He had to repeat it twice. I don't know if people are feeling it. I'm, I don't know if I was feeling it that much, but I get it. After the rep, take this L. Like, rep placement. I, I guess it works. I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, the next one is... Fuck summer impact. This going, this going impact this summer. Hmm. I gave him a point for that. Then I gave him a point and he said, "E heart got me thinking. Be smart. I can't trust forty. So yeah, got a point for that. 
And I gave him a point and said, this is smack, not RBE. I'll close your shit. It's dope. Um, he gets a point and said, paid in full. I'll pop Ace at the cleaners. Point for that. And he said, I'm dropping jewels. Like, John, John, you should listen to me. Listen on me. Um, and then he said, them shit's so cheap, I bought a spare with me. And he had a spare chain, so that kind of brought the house down again. <laughs> it was funny, man. Them chains, man. There's a lot of chains in this battle. So he got 13 points in that round. No, he got 14 points in this round. Sorry, guys. I wrote it at the top of the page. So, yeah. So that was the breakdown, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so, all in all, in conclusion, I gave this battle to uh you know what it was so close just look at the look at the the rounds look at the points look how close it is look it was basically a difference of one point do you know that it was basically a difference of one point so i feel like snake edged the first because in the first round ace i mean got 11 points and snake got 12 points so there's one point difference so i mean ace smoked Snake in the second because he got 13 points. Ace uh, Snake got three points, and then Ace got nine points in the third, and Snake has got 13 points. Y'all do the calculation yourselves, right? Add it up. <laughs> but personally, I think ugh, I like the way Ace writes, and I like the way he structures his bars. <clears throat> um, but you know, you got to be fair. Snake did good. He did good and he edged the battle. I mean, I think this is a preference battle. So if somebody gave it to Ace, I mean, I wouldn't be mad at that because I almost feel like it's there's only one point difference in, in my judgment. It's one point. And so if I remove that point, it will be equal. You know what I mean? It's all, it will basically just be based on preference. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to be fair by being like, okay, that one point does matter. So whatever. Let me know if y'all agree with me in the comments. Um, Thumbs up the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I, I had to say. Um, oh my god, am I going to start talking again? This is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I would like to say that. I don't know. Yeah, you, you guys just have to be the judge. You know what I mean? Because Snake rapped for 20 minutes in the first. So I don't know if that made any difference or not. He rapped a, a lot longer in the first. So sometimes when you have more time, then you, you have more time to like deliver material. But, you know, overall, it was a good battle. And um, I'm glad it went well without too much drama, even though they nearly got into it. I feel like Ace has to definitely work on um, just not getting so tired. He was like looking kind of tired after his battle like sitting down and all that you gotta stand up ace man do you know what i mean face your opponent so um yeah to work on that but apart from that it was a good battle i, I like ace i like snake they're both talented salute to both of them for a good battle and getting through like their rounds cleanly no slip ups it's all good it's your girl Phoenix Fire, guys. Um, I think that's about it. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out.